The next link is the participant responses, and if we look down there, we can see that um, the manager approval notification went out uh, to Jonathan Smith, and he approved it. The ECO administrator review uh, went out, and it was approved, and then uh, the cost accounting actions are complete. These un unfortunately come out in alphabetical order, uh, not in um, the order they're in the workflow, so we probably can't see the MEIE actions, which we know from the workflow have already taken place. They must be lower down on the screen. The other thing and uh, to notice, note too, and in our example here, I only had one person in each of the uh, approval lists, but if there were multiple people in the approval list, we'd see a record for each person. And if the notification response was null, we, we would know that they hadn't uh, responded yet to the notification. Okay. What we've done here is we've actually clicked on um, the manager approval notification, and here we can see the whole history of the conversation that had gone on relative to when NCOUG training day uh, occurred. So again, this is just illustrating the fact that not only has the workflow facilitated the conversation, but it's also documented the conversation in the workflow tables. The last tab here is the workflow details. If you look down at the bottom at the workflow attributes, these are all the fields that the get ECO attributes function has captured. And if we scroll down a little bit further down the screen, uh, we can see some of the things that are saved. Uh, the approval status on this one says approval requested, but if you remember our workflow step where we're waiting for the approval status um, to be set to approved, and actually we're really looking for the um, ECO status further down the page that says open we were checking in the workflow that is the status implemented. The uh, attribute one through five that we used, we can see here they're populated. They don't actually have the approval list names in them. They have the roles that those lists uh, resolve to. And that's um, something we need to be cognizant of in the setup of the uh, flex field that we uh, store the role, even though on the screen the role means nothing to us. We really want to see the approval list and its description. So, okay. So that concludes the presentation. I want to uh, talk to you about a few references. Uh, there's some uh, My Oracle support documents. Uh, the first one being the ECO workflow approval process set up and use. This will get into more detail of, of all the uh, different things you need to do to the process, to the notification, to the messages, the lookup types, all the pieces of the workflow. Um, the second one is how to view participant responses, which is what we just finished up here looking at. Um, there are functions that need to be added to menus to enable that functionality. and. Uh, they're left out of the seated, seated menus, so you'll need to refer to this document to enable that functionality. And then we can look at some standard Oracle documentation, first being the Engineering User's Guide, which does go through in some detail the, the seated workflows, and also uh, the review of the Oracle Workflow Developer's Guide, which helps you understand how these functions work, uh, and specifically the compare function that we used and, and the weight function in the workflow. So uh, that concludes our presentation. Thank you very much for attending. Uh, for further information, you can contact Dark at 877-476-7151 or you can email sales at dark.com when you're ready to implement this workflow.